740. Basically, that's the least amount of weather you wanted to have if you're cycling a Shimano in Hokkaido, because you see at least a bit of the islands. Didn't have it yesterday, sadly enough. That was the night view from yesterday's video. Not so impressive during the day. And um, that's the Michino Eki where you stayed. That's about it. I wonder if they have an official license for using that. Yesterday, that over there is all islands. And there in the back, you see the bridge we came over to Honshu yesterday. So that's all muscle, muscle shells neatly attached to strings. And I believe it's oyster, but I'm not sure. This tunnel here is really nicely done. So you have my side, then you have plastic wall, and then you have the cars. It's really enjoyable to ride like this. So I'm in Kure now, which is a naval base which also was a naval base during Second World War and you still see military history everywhere. For example, they have a monument for the Zero, which they decorated over there as a Christmas tree. Why not? It's just an engine of war, but it keeps the uh, spirit of Christmas alive. is uh, Kure famous for except for having a big pink ship lying at the docks. Um, it has one of the biggest wharfs in Japan. It has the first domestically built warship in 1905 and it built the Yamato which was the biggest warship ever built which suffered the same fate as the Bismarck um, got shut down by airplanes and uh, yeah building really big warships is not something intelligent to do because they're like, like really easy to hit as you can as you see can it's see still it's a military, military port, port for the for Japanese, Japanese self, self maritime, maritime self defense, defense forces, forces so, so these, these two ships, ships are JMSDF and those ships over there and yeah so it's still in use as a military port
So as nobody replied yet on couch surfing or on uh, warm showers in Hiroshima, uh, in Kurve, Kure, I'm heading onwards to Hiroshima, which is over there. It's another 20 kilometers from here. Uh, let's see how far I can get. Like if I find something where I can camp before, that will be fine too. So that down there is a driving school where well, they have like a parkour of like two or three kilometers with like every possible problematic that you can, can encounter and that's how you practice driving here. So I just had dinner at this ramen place, rated 78 in RamenDB, which is a database for ramen nerds in Japan. Quite awesome ramen, I'd have to say. I only have one dish, 600 yen, one pop, so decent food. The owner also speaks English, so not that much trouble. <laughs> 